Oh, are we live now? Now we're live. <laughs> <laughs> but now I know how to say your surname as well, Fran. So we're all good. Did that off air. But it cut the intro out. That's rubbish. Oh, um, no. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. I want to say thanks for jumping on and thanks everyone that's watching. I know there's been a load of people um, hop in and say they're, they're attending because I think this is such, such a massive subject showing up on social. And I think it holds like loads and loads of people back and we'll yeah. unpack it. We'll, we'll get into it. But yeah. um, tell us a bit about you. You're CEO of Future Cloud. What's, oh, what's CEO, Future Cloud? am I? I, I don't, okay. I don't know. Partner. I'm still Cleaner. Yeah, the cleaner. Well, I had to clean the office the other day because we we're, we're, we're getting it all decorated and whatnot. Um, yeah, I'm the co-founder of Future Cloud. We started the company in 2019. Um, mm. And I believe I embraced social media to grow it, basically. That's how, how this has all come about. Really? So the whole growth of the business was has been through social? Yeah, yeah. Um, Locally, though, I do a lot with like networking events and people know locally know who I am. And that definitely helps. So with, with, wherever you live, a lot of people don't tend to get involved in their local community. Like, do you do that, for example? Not really. So do people know who you are in your town? Yeah, but maybe not for the right reasons. Some of them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, pe people do, but not not for this. Not for that, yeah. So they do for business. I wanted to help as many people in the in, in the area as possible. Went to the local networking scene, even though I hated it. I pushed myself to do it, and um, I like to be the go-to. I like people to come to me, whether it's on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and inbox me asking me for advice and things like that. Mm. That was my base for when we started Future Cloud. I did that for four years prior to starting a company where where I worked in a corporate world. And then started the company and went, right, I'm going to do social media and said to my business partner, I'm going to share videos. And that's where it started. And I put the hashtag, the journey is real. Nice. Yeah, because that's one thing. I don't know how I found you on LinkedIn. Obviously, we're following each other on Instagram and talk on there. We've never yeah. spoken on LinkedIn until I sent you the link for this. No. Um, which is weird. But yeah, I think we, we chatted on on Instagram a few times and I just saw your stories and it's one of those things like you, you, I think you share so much. It makes, makes you feel like you're there. And although yeah. some of it's exciting, some of it's not, it's just yeah. you walking. You, I still feel compelled to watch it and we've <laughs> never spoken until today. So it's, it's, it's weird, but you've yeah. obviously got that effect, whether it's what you're sharing or how you're sharing it or the fact yeah. that you are sharing it is people yeah. are interested. Yeah, definitely. Um, you sh the more confident you get, the more you share. You start off probably sharing a picture of your coffee because you're a bit nervous and scared. Happy, happy Monday. And yeah. then you look, you look your game. So when you get a reply, I love it when I get replies to my stories saying, oh, what food is that? And how did you make it? You've got to have the energy to reply and engage. Whereas people read a message, oh, I can't be bothered. You can't be like that. You've got to be, yeah, I'll help you. I like the idea of helping people with different things. It's really weird. But obviously, I, I must be made for it because I know people think I'm crazy. No, I think it's I think it's just it's good to see. And straight away, I just got that got that vibe from you. Um, mm. and, you know, you're even showing just you your walk to the gym. Do you live quite close to the – is it your partner owns the gym? Is that right? Yeah. 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 So you live close – live very close to that. Yeah. 10, 15 minute walk. Nice. Um, so, I've got it all. so I've started doing YouTube as well. And it's crazy. And the amount you can fit in your day is phenomenal when you really want something. Yeah. I want to get into that because we both just said we're a bit of a um, bit of drill sergeant ish with our, with our kids and our own <laughs> lives, I think. So I've, I've made a note just to speak about that. Yeah. Um, but I think let's talk about exercise then, because all of this is, is just being regimented. You know, creating yeah. content, running a business, having yeah. kids, exercising yeah. like frequently and efficiently. So what are you on at the moment? I saw a post either yesterday or today that you're trying to become the fittest you possibly can be. What's, what's yeah. that? So moment, what does that look like? So I booked my game with so basically what the local gym store and Steve's idea was to start, set up like a high rocks competition. So it's very new to the UK. Um, 
it was founded in Germany. And basically what it is, is it's a big, massive event. So they've done one in London, they're doing one in Manchester, and it's crazy fitness. Literally, the whole thing is like eight kilometer run, and then eight different types of things you've got to do, like burpee broad jumps, um, walking lunges with weights. It's like it'll take, you can take people an hour to do it, or it can take people a couple of hours the fittest pros will take an hour and it's lit it's brutal and I don't run. <laughs> so for me, it's a massive challenge, but I've done loads of challenges on LinkedIn, especially in the pandemic, like press up challenge, squat challenge. And I shared it all on there. It's crazy at the time. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that led then to you just, just all this open sharing, not afraid of being yourself. Yeah. It it helped grow your LinkedIn following. So what are you at 50 K now? Yeah, yeah, about 50, I think it's 55, 56. And it, I, think, I feel like it's not really grown that much recently. I can't, I don't really know because I've never really checked in on it. I don't like to see it too much because I think, think it can put pressure on as well. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, uh, look, yeah, looking at it, do you find that? Oh, look, I'm, I've lost followers. I've gained, you know what I mean? I am with, I've got a lot more followers on Instagram, obviously, and I've on LinkedIn. And yeah. that's kind of the one I don't look at. I more look at the LinkedIn one because that's the one I'm trying to build. I trying to build that, but yeah. I, I, you know what? I don't care. I've got I've got incoming leads. Clients are doing well. That's that's all I need, really. Yeah. Um, I just keep posting content and engaging. But, so yeah. You, you engage a lot more on Instagram then? I try and keep it equal, just about half an hour a day on, on each. Um I feel like the comments on LinkedIn mean a bit more than they do on Instagram. Yeah. Um, and I think it's just good, good post or someone will just repeat something that you've already, because I, I put a lot of design out there rather than just photos. So it's like people just repeat something that you've already said in one of the slides or something. And it's like, yeah. yeah cheers mate. Yeah. <laughs> I found that. I'm like, that's what I put in my post. <laughs> yeah. It's a, uh, it's a weird one. Instagram. I like it, but there's a lot of, it's a lot fluffier. I think, you can't hide behind anything on LinkedIn, which is no, which is probably more what I daunting. Really like, yeah, oh yeah, more daunting as well, which I, I do want to get into. Um, yeah, this will be a big thing for you then, because like you say, with Instagram, you can hide behind it and you can build that behind the scenes. No one needs to know. No, you can set up for something completely different, can't you? That's interesting. Yeah, which is what I did, and you know, we talked about this just, off, yeah. just before we jumped on. Like, I set up a pro. I, I wanted to put out content, not for any means, not even to make yeah. any money. I just saw yeah. some nice carousels. I thought yeah. I can do that. But I thought, what's this group of people going to think of me? One, well, I guess there's three groups, friends, yeah, work colleagues, yeah. and then like people from school or just people yeah. from 15 years ago, like, oh God, what if someone I've not seen in 10 years sees this? Yeah. What are they going to think? Yeah. <laughs> What will I? Yeah. And that stopped me for years. And so think, do your friends know about your Instagram now? Some do, yeah. And I've got no no real problem. But I don't go and talk. I told someone the other day, that I said, I've le left my job now. And they're like, oh, right. What are you doing? And I was like, oh, just helping people on LinkedIn. Because oh, I, the minute I say Instagram. Here, don't you? Yeah. If I say Instagram, they'll be like, oh, what's your handle? I'm like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's cringe. I don't want you thinking, seeing me on a on a video, like thinking I'm some major influencer because it isn't actually that. Yeah, but why not? If you want it to be, though. I know. I don't. I don't know. I've still got that. I've still yeah. got that barrier, and that's yeah. why. Yeah, that's why we're we're talking about this topic. I guess is like. Yeah. What What made you jump onto social? Was it boredom through COVID, or was it before that? It was before that. So my first proper video on LinkedIn was probably when I handed my notice in and went self-employed just as the company had started in 2019. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to do a video a week. That's what it started off. Sat in my car talking about where I'm going to go that day and what I'm up to. And that is seriously all it was. I talked about how we set up Zero and Dex, which is our accounting solution that week, or I work with a client or we've taken on someone new, or we're getting offices, or I'm going to this networking event, and I actually filmed myself outside of a networking event. Really nerve-wracking stuff that pushed me out of my comfort zone. And I barely got any likes. I must have got about 20 likes at the time. I'm probably thinking of people looking, thinking, oh, my God. But the more I did it, the more I started noticing other people doing little bits like that then. You know, people mm. start copying or inspired by it, whatever. 
And then I thought, actually, and I like the idea of people knowing, like I thought I'm going to share my theories on how to grow a business and see if it works. And it, and it did, because obviously I got the clients, got the team, got the offices. So it's like I was sharing everything that I had in my head that I wanted to do next and I followed it through. And yeah, that's, I think that's part of it or certainly on LinkedIn, it's a big part of successful people with big audiences like content is the journey. The yeah. transformation. People want to know how you quit your job yeah. and how you've got a team with two sets yeah. of offices and, and a, a new home yeah. as well, like you've got. New home, um, how you run the kids, how you what you eat, where you gym, what you're training, what you're doing. And I'm I'm nosy. I like looking at what other people want to. <laughs> inspires me. So why wouldn't I share what I'm doing? Yeah, that's that's interesting. And that's all like those first videos you made then. Yeah. Were on the fly rather than fit like I film like with with pointers and then I'll, I'll not all the time most of the yeah. time if i do a reel for instagram i'll film it have yeah. pointers on the side and then yeah. i'll get one of my team to edit it and then i'll put it out whereas i guess if you're stood outside an event on the day i say it straight away don't even think about it again Just upload it bit of spiel with it off it goes and don't i never looked at my videos back i just carried on with it i didn't have really time. never watched them yeah. back never watched them back and then it took me ages and then i do Sometimes I watch one back now so I can remember what I said <laughs> to put it into the spiel because I'm a bit more slower and a bit more aware of it now. Whereas before, I just get something out there because I wanted it to be almost live. I wanted it to be fresh. I wanted people to know how much I was real because all I could see on LinkedIn was a load of fakery and bullshit. And I really wanted to share. Like, I'm genuine here. I was desperate. Mm. To. I'm genuine and I'm going to show you how I'm growing this business as accountants that I think that I'm on something here, wearing the hoodies. I think we were one of the first to order the hoodies, you know, the um, hoodies, vet, T-shirts, and I wanted it on gym wear and everything. I think we were one of the first to do it, and then other people followed suit. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And it's interesting that you, you've you gone for that, even like you've been on LinkedIn and you've seen a, a point of differentiation, which is, one, probably LinkedIn wide, not many people just making videos on the fly. Exactly. And two, definitely in your in your space as well, which is really, yeah. really important. Yeah. And I think you, you can go from like world view to industry view or country view all the way down to your yeah. local view. And you're like ticking all those boxes, it sounds like. Yeah, 100%. There were obviously other accountants that, well, I think there was only a couple that did a, a video maybe sharing tax information and making it fun and different but I want to do a different spin on that so I don't like copying I always have a lot of people just copy because they're, they're lazy aren't they and they're just like, oh I'll just copy on whereas yeah. I don't like to copy I'll take in little bits of inspiration and make it my own and I think that's why a lot of people just don't embrace that bit make things your own yeah yeah I agree and, and one other thing that this like this proves massively is yeah. that just the power of personal brand because mm -hmm. For me, I don't know anything about accounting. For me, it's very, very. My wife's an accountant. She actually, I can hear her outside. Okay. Like, you don't have to whisper, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, for me, it's boring. Not because Amy does it, yeah. but just it's it's a boring subject. So you are going to struggle if you're putting out business content or something about VAT to really convert anyone into liking you or wanting to give your business business basically yeah, wanting yeah. to become a client so the best thing you can do is leverage the differentiator in the equation which is you yeah in, and it's not just for accounting it's for anything you look at like yeah. linkedin strategy it's not particularly exciting talking about hashtags is it so you have yeah. to you have to put yourself out there and that's what that's what you've done yeah exactly that and i i suppose one of the things is i was trying to not make it boring i was trying to show businesses to, to look at your numbers because you need it for the, the, the future proofing of it. It shouldn't be boring, really, because you're talking about the exciting profits you're making. That mm. has that boring. But if you're with a person that's a bit like, well, here's your tax bill, yeah, I'll see you next year. That's boring. And they're, you're almost like they're telling me off. They're yeah. telling me off. They're the boring conversation. They're telling me what tax to pay. How dare they? Yeah. Whereas I try and turn it around. And that's what that was one of the main things for me is turn that mindset around that we're here so you can be prepared for your tax bill in a positive light. Your tax is good because you're making money. And that's that was that that was I think what was the game changer of how we approached that side of things. You've had we've had some good comments. Have you seen them? 
I've no, I've had the wrong tab open. Sorry, guys. <laughs> He's in the private chat. Even I'm better than this. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's been a tough old start for the week. Um, yeah. Lauren, great to hear this as a fellow business owner trying to grow. Glad to hear that. People know you as a tutor. Agree 100%. Definitely sharing more. because that, That's all it is at the start, I yeah. think. Um, it, the quality does not matter. You can be become more of a snob at the end or in the middle. Yeah. Like, Don't be a content snob at the start. I was, or I thought yeah. I was, tried to be. And all it yeah. did was take me two hours to make a piece of content, and then I wasn't even happy with it then. So uh, one of the best things that you've said, Fran, is like, don't watch it. To post yeah. it, not watch it. It's, yeah. it's quantity over quality at the start for sure, and yeah. then refine it. Yeah. Um, who else we got? Definitely been an inspiration for my accounting business growth in the last twelve months. Oh, from that's, that's so amazing cool. to read from Nicola. It is. That's amazing. Yes, you, um, Nicola. Lovely. Nikki Devon, being yourself is the scariest thing one can possibly do. Some days, agreed. Yeah. And I want to get into that now, which is yeah. like. It's almost like someone giving you permission. So if I if I worked what sat with Nikki and said just do it and sat next to her to post it, she'd definitely post something. Mm. It's crazy that is, isn't it? Yeah, and it's also you're not it's it, you're not giving yourself permission. That's what you need to be able to do. It's just like I'm allowed to do this if I want because all Fran did when she started out was just say today I'm doing it. And it's that one tiny decision that could it has it has changed the rest of your life, right? We wouldn't yeah. be talking, you wouldn't be sat in that house, wouldn't have the teams, just if you hadn't have picked up your, your camera. It's changed it's changed my life massively, but you, it is uncomfortable and you have to get comfortable with feeling like on edge and uncomfortable with it. The most confident people will be feeling like me. And as soon as I got my head around that, because you think you assume that other people that are smashing it. They're not got an issue, or they're not anxious, or they're not worried, but they are because I'm doing it and I'm all those things. Yeah, yeah. I think it's you have to be ready to embrace like the uncertainty. It's like that that no man's land, grey area. Yeah. Don't really know what's going to happen, and be prepared. Yeah. I did I did a little video about this the other day. Be prepared for no response. Be prepared for no one to care, and it's not you. It's just because why should they? Yeah. So why true. Should, yeah. Why should we care? You are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to give them a reason to care, though, haven't you? And the reason to care will be you being you for six months. And then yeah. they'll go, right, Fran, tell me how to make those brownies or, I don't know, I'll see yeah, you, yeah, all, all yeah. sorts of crazy stuff. But um, yeah, we you will get people. Grenade. <laughs> yeah, grenade bars. Yeah, yeah. I love it. So what was, what was the fear factor for you? Like, what were you scared of doing? What stopped you from... I don't know if you had it like a six months of, or oh, I want to do it, but I'm not sure. Or did you just go, just jump in? I have moments where I've come up with an idea and I'll go, oh no, I won't do that one because I'm definitely going to get laughed at. <laughs> so I have a lot of them moments. I remember, so we, I quoted for a client right at the beginning of our business and he said no and went somewhere else cheaper. Um, and he ended up coming back two years later, which is amazing. I, I was buzzing. Yeah, love it. And, but when he came back, he did say to me that at the business club that I went to, some of them were like, oh, have you seen Fran's videos? So they were saying it in a negative, like, oh, as a, Ooh. that was like a business club. In the business club, they were saying, have you seen Fran's videos? Like trying to take the mick a little bit, I reckon. And he told me about it. And I was, but then you have to think, yeah, that's a good thing. That's why I had to tell myself to get over it. Yeah, that's a good thing because they're not going to do that. And then I got over it. But it does, yeah, you do feel a bit on edge because people will judge you. As soon as I've got my head around that, not everyone will like you either, which is awful when you're being yourself. Mm. You can keep going. Because my mission is bigger than any of that. <laughs> that's it, yeah. That's it. Having the the firm, like, why or, or the mission is, is so important because so, I feel like I didn't have mine dialed in at the start and that's when I was shaky when you yeah. know exactly what you want to do, why you want to do it, how you're going to do it in many ways. Yeah. I think that definitely helps, but that's yeah. interesting. So your, your name's been mentioned like in a, in a face-to-face -face conversation in a negative way from yeah. people that you probably know, and you've yeah. got real time feedback. It's not just because I think a lot of what stops people is the thoughts, not yeah. the fact that someone's actually gone and said it. So that's probably playing on your mind even more at that point. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That was hard hearing that. I was like, Whoa. 
So that's a good thing then, isn't it? Because obviously my business has grown from it. Mm. It yeah. has. So it's really, it's crazy. It's crazy. And there's a lot of people that's probably watching me thinking, I would never do that, but they can't help but watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah what definitely next? <laughs> <laughs> i was thinking though like that won't happen to most people most people won't if they if they decide right now i'm going to do a 30-day challenge on video i'll put it out in front of all my friends colleagues ex-colleagues whatever it may be um they probably won't get that real life feedback like people have been talking about you mm. but they'll create that scenario in the head yeah. and i think the one thing that they should probably bear in mind is what i said earlier it's like no one really cares at the start it's like when you get a spot on your face and you go to, you're about to go to a party and you're like like my wife will to me like oh, this is like, yeah. i've got this here got this here and it's like yeah. no, no one cares it's like, well i yeah. care right but you only care because you think other people care yeah it is that's embracing yeah. no makeup through lockdown for women you know how we all went comfy <laughs> yeah <laughs> and you think, oh my god, I'm not. I'm going to turn up to see a client looking like this. They're going to, they're going to think, what a scruff bag sort of thing. But they don't. That's why I embrace wearing. I've worn trainers, joggers, hoodie for prospect meetings because really? I'm. I probably ooze more confidence with that, to be honest. And if it doesn't matter what you look like, well, it shouldn't matter what you look like. And if it does matter what you look like, then they're not your client. Yeah. Yeah. Great point. Yeah, so it's always embracing who you are, being true to yourself, which some people still don't know who they are. I find that really interesting as well. I agree. You know what? And take me back 24 months. I don't think I did. Mm. I think I'm only just, I'm still not there, but I'm, yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm making progress. Yeah. You'll learn loads doing what you're doing, though. You'll have one opinion one year, and then following you, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm doing this myself now that I was probably calling it last year but you're actually doing it this yeah. year do you know oh, yeah. done that a few times yeah that's why you can't judge the less you judge the more you do yourself so yeah. you have to let everyone live how they want to live even if you won't do it yourself so judge less you'll end up doing more yourself that was my thing i had to work i like on. that yeah because I've, I've noticed myself doing that even without speaking to myself about it like i've just yeah. noticed myself like oh give them a break Yes. Where I'm just like, oh, look at him, or that's that's yeah. crap, or you know, whatever. And I'm like, let him do his thing. Yes. Then, yeah, you become a lot more relaxed in certain areas, don't you? Yeah, hundred million percent. That a lot of people, because they judge others so harshly and they do it naturally, you have to catch yourself quick and train your mind to go, no, 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 they look good, they look fine. Fair play to them. That's another thing I'll say. Fair play to them if they want to post that or do that. Yeah. No, it's a great point. So what was what was the one thing that you that you like exercise you did to overcome that? Because I imagine when when you had that real life negative feedback, that probably did you stop posting for a day? Did you go in extra hard? Did I went in hard. Yeah, I probably went in a little bit harder. Really? And I also think I remember at the beginning, if I had a piece of content that didn't do very well. I'd up my game for some out, something else. I was very competitive with myself. Mm. You have to be competitive. With I think. Yeah, with yourself. Yeah. So keep pushing your boundaries. If you want your numbers higher, if you want to get more like everyone wants likes, don't they? Yeah. Well, so it does. It, you know, it's a vanity metric, but it helps you to get pushed to a bigger audience. So I get it. It's I just not it. what you should focus on. I don't yeah. think. No, um, no, this is it. I don't do any targeting. I've never, never really like targeted as in sliding to the DMs or, or please buy from us. I've never done any of that. And I've never, so what we are doing next week, we're going to have a like a marketing strategy of some sort with a guy that helped us do our website. He's going to help us with that because we've been improving our website to see what leads we're getting through that. Because mm. I want to try and keep building the business brand so it's not all on me as personal. Yeah. yeah. And that's no, difficult. No. It's difficult to change what you've been doing for so long. But I don't think I want to be behind the future cloud brand. I feel like we need a strategy for that. And overall, the whole team helping build that. 
Yeah, Does that, yeah. Does that make sense. I'm making this up as I go along, but this is my. Oh no, yeah, you've got personal and business brand, and they don't have yeah. to. Even though they are linked, they don't have to be because yeah, you, know, you walk into the gym is nothing to do with Future Cloud and Future no. Cloud website launch is nothing to do with you. So no. yeah, no, I, I completely get you. How, what do you think? What channels are you going to use for that? And is it going to involve other people showing up on social in the like team wise doing videos or? We've got a future cloud YouTube, which we already use to do, like if we go to account all these accounting events. So we'll do a vlog. Charlotte's been doing some of them when she's been going to them. Um, so I think YouTube, potentially Instagram, because I'll upload a little bit to that. Facebook, TikTok will be one that I'd like to approach as a future cloud mm -hmm. rather than me. I do think a, bit, a personal brand will build, you, build your business because people buy from people, I do. But I don't want it just to be one person. Well, you're in a different position to most because you've done the personal brand building and now it's like, right, I've actually built something out of the brand. Yeah. I'm going to build that brand because that's yeah. like sprouted well, that's out. That's me, though. That's, yeah. we, might have, we might have to pay. We've never paid for marketing. What? Not once, not even a pound. <laughs> really? Oh, I can yeah. recommend a fantastic agency. <laughs> <laughs> do a lot in the financial space as well, funnily enough. Yeah, because your partner's she's an accountant then for a firm or for herself. Um, she works. For, have you heard of Warehouse Project? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that big, so. big events in Manchester, all over Europe. They book massive DJs and stuff, and she works oh. for them, just handling artist accounts. All the finest. All oh, right, okay, yeah. that's yeah. cool. And promoter accounts as well. So yeah, it's pretty good. She, yeah, I, so the gym I can't get her to work for me though. <laughs> she it's, my book. Yeah, it's probably different accounting though, where it's like one person company yeah. she's seen big big numbers isn't she but um i'm got that's you know where i'm training now i've up my training and the the high rocks competition is actually meant to be in manchester oh nice in january not now i still don't want to do it <laughs> so you're you're going to compete in that right potentially potentially me and steve as a double act <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, my God. So I will be filming all of the training and filming all that. And I know people like watching stuff like that. The people like me will like watching stuff like that. But that's why I'm sharing it all, even though it's so uncomfortable. The training. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm uh, I'm going to do 75 hard. At the end oh, of yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do that at the end of September, 26th of September. Um, and that will take me to my wedding anniversary on the 10th of December. So I've just, nice. just quit vaping. I'm going to have one more, yeah. one or two more drinks before yeah. that time, but I've, I've been well off the booze recently, like well yeah. off it. Yeah. Um, My life's transformed since I stopped drinking. As, how long have you been off drinking? Right, so I've had three drinks this year. Um, wow. I have, so I have, I will have a drink. I'm just not binge drinking anymore. Um, like I'll have one at Christmas probably. So I've limited it a lot, but I, I have done for years and I'm much happier for it. Sleep better. Don't get that horrible, like, low mood after it, which everyone gets, I think. Yeah, yeah, that hits you when you, when, don't know, when you hit 30, I think, and it's just like, oh, my God, I'm never, not because of the pain of the hangover, it's like the mental, not even what did I say, what did I do, it's just the mental, like, oh, God, I don't think I can ever do it again, and then you do it again. Yeah, no. It's fun, but it's and that's the business thing, and also the showing up thing. It's like the initial hit, the initial fun of having yep. a drink, the initial comfort of not showing up, yeah, is a lot easier and more satisfying than the opposite, which is the pain of doing it or the pain of not drinking. But yeah. the long term, if you think a year from now, not drinking or exercising nearly every day or showing up on social every day. That's like looking back. You're a case study, aren't you? Yeah. For, that, for yeah. doing it. Yeah. But you, when you're doing those things, I try not to think too far ahead, like because training near enough every day is really taken out on me. You know, showing up on social media, if I think too far ahead, oh, God, I've got to do that in the morning now. Oh, I've got to, it can get you down. So mm. I need to just try and be in the moment and keep, because it takes a lot of energy to be on social media. Got some people saying about the drinking and stuff, which is great. I drink to yeah. enjoy quality drinks, not to binge. God, I used to binge drink. Terrible. Same. Love a drink. Absolutely. I was just saying this to someone else before. Um, well, what is it that you love about it? The feeling? Well, I, this, no, because I'm a workaholic. Like I definitely am. I absolutely love it. 
absolutely love drinking yeah. and you know what i've I'll, i will switch off for the first time ever after like that four or five drink but i can like i'll, I'll be there and that's perfect yeah. but i yeah. can put away a bottle of rum and like not have that bad of a hangover oh, like, okay. full because I'm just that's all I've drunk for for years now. Yeah. Um, but it will I will do stupid stuff when I'm doing the drinking. Yeah. <laughs> so I reined it in and stayed in, but then I just still make stupid decisions even staying at home and doing it. So yeah, I think yeah. it's just it's time now just to last yeah. time I got leathered was at Leah Turner's party. Oh, you um, went to that. Where was that? Is that Manchester? That was Manchester, yeah. Tell um, me, you must have had beer fear the next day with what you came out with to people. Come on. I, can't remember, I just can't remember. Leah said I was going up to her and sniffing a hair. <laughs> like, oh in, a, in a jokey way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's what, what I'm we like. All do it. We all do yeah. it. <laughs> Honestly. It so fun. Um, all right. But I now, like, I that was two, three days, like, just horrendous mm. pain. That would hurt. Oh, yeah. That, that yeah. Oh, see. They all went out at two in the, in the morning to go, and I was like, "Yeah, I'll be there." I got in a taxi, and then I was just like, I ordered it to that place, and I was like, "I'm so hungry." I was like, "Mate, take me to a kebab house. I'll give you seventy quid to take me home." Just like, just get me. Home. It was fifty quid. I was like, it's a "Kebab house. I'll give you twenty quid, and I'll buy you a kebab." And then I and fell they were still partying. They all carried on. Yeah, I could. I would have got. I would have gone. I wouldn't have drank to prove myself a point, and then I'd have to leave about it. Half 10, 11. And I know I'm, I'm too boring for that sort of thing. It's having the comfort to be boring though, isn't it? Because that's what yeah. I'm going to struggle with. Yeah. I went to a party on Saturday night and not drinking was really, really hard. I had some Mar like, Moretti Zeros, a massive house, brand new house these Amy's mates had just bought. And it was like, yeah, there was just whatever you wanted. You could have it, like food, everything, loads of spirits, everything. I was just like, I'm just going to stick on it. And I think I had five of these beers, non-alcoholic beers. I was just like, oh. And we Sad. went from nine o'clock. Oh. It was great. They didn't finish till did four in the morning. Did you enjoy it the same or not? No, no, definitely not. So, yeah, I don't think I, I don't know. It's a hard one. So we had an awards do that we went to in June with the team. So I had one there. And that's all I had. And I managed to stay to the end and whatnot, but I probably am different to what I was when I let a few go back and relaxed. Yeah, that's it, I think, because that's the sweet spot. But yeah, any more than that and you just ruin it. And when you hit the sweet you spot, you've got more good yeah. time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, but I do have fun without it. Probably not the way it was before. But you have to get uncomfortable again with being comfortable of not drinking and letting people know that you're not. I think anyone yeah. can achieve that and you can tell yourself you're having a good time because you can still dance because everyone who's drunk won't be looking at you thinking, well, he's sober. Look at him dancing. They'll be assuming you're drunk, even if yeah, you're not. Yeah, that's true. They, well, they won't even think, will they? I've done that once, actually. I went to an awards do and I was training. I've done a couple of boxing matches and I was training for a boxing match and we got we won, well, we got nominated for a couple of awards and then we won uh, like four on one night. Oh. And I, all my, that's when it's hard. And I'm never yeah. in these situations anymore where all your mates are around like, oh, come yeah. on, what, don't be like that, you little fairy and things like that. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. and I danced. I went and danced, had a, had a really good time. Um, and they all carried on going out. I went and got a Mackey's or something and went to bed at That's one in the morning. I love it. I love it. That was a good night. But I never put myself in those situations now, so it's a lot easier to just stay yeah. at home and not drink. But I do you still make it. You have friends. I'm you ever thought got, about that? Do you know need new friends? I've not got one friend who isn't a piss head. Like, not cool. not like horrendously, but they love a drink, all of them. Yeah, so they'll judge you. Oh, yeah, I get grief all the time if I go yeah. anywhere near it. Oh, so, wow. It's tough. To yeah. But I love it at the same time. I love waking up the next day. I'm um, buzzing when you're sober. Yeah, so good. I'm just like, I'm up, I'm doing a run, or I get a load of work done. Even doing the ironing. <laughs> I so think it is just a case of getting old, having kids and getting boring. No, but is it boring? Let's not do that stigma again. It's not. I. Someone said to me the other week that they think the future of is that nobody will be really drinking in the future or drinking a lot less than what we would have mm -hmm. done on the parks, binge drinking as kids. I think that's very could be something very true in that. I agree, because I don't know about your little ones, but... My, well, not so little, are they? But my yeah. niece and nephew, like 19 and 21, I think they are. Yeah. Um, they don't really – I mean, my nephew will, but he did 75 hard 
Oh, he had his 18th birthday in the middle of 75 hard. So he, he he's like, hard at 18. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. That's, yeah. Do you know what this? Have you read up this 75 hard thing? Because I have, and I know what you're in for. I know what I've got to do. Yeah. So it's two two oh, workouts a day. One of them's yeah. got to be outside. They both have to be 45 minutes. They can't be combined or split up. It's two. It's 90 minutes divided by two. That's yeah. it. One outside. And yeah. it's no cheat meals, which I can yeah. do because I'm on a pretty stable diet anyway. I just need to eliminate the sweets. Um, no alcohol. I know I can do that. Yeah. Um, 10 pages of a self-help book. And um, this yeah. will be the tough one. <laughs> yeah. Two of them. One? It, it is tough. I'm, I've only drank this today. That's ridiculous. Half of that. Yeah, it's small. I've small. done one of them I'm today. Have you, done, have you done 75 hard then? No, I've seen it. There's a guy on LinkedIn that does it. You'll know him. Mark. No? He walked around with a baby stroller. Yeah. Yeah, Scouser. Move networking. Say again. Move networking. He promotes yeah, his... Ne yeah. Networking or something. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I think I've spoken to him. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Yeah, nice guy. He's ripped. <laughs> he is, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I want to do it, because I used to be in a good state, and now since I started this business, like... It does it, yeah. It, when you start a business and you've had a stressful day, I'm telling you now, I want to eat like a pig. <laughs> I, so I don't reach for the beer because I don't drink. My reaching, my vice is chocolate. Really, I'm really yeah. bad. So you have to be so disciplined. I'm literally excited for you to start this. And I already gonna... can tell you're telling yourself, oh, it doesn't matter if I don't do that bit. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> not. I'm not. I'm going to do it yes. all. I'm going to do it do all. all. I'm do so you want motivated. To do you want to keep? Will you message me though for out on the on Instagram? Just let me know how you're doing, or I'll check. Yeah. It. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out there as well. I think like, I might do a weekly, weekly video or something. Yeah, because I might even try and get other people to sign up with me. I've got a couple of people who right. said they will. Um, our client success manager's doing it. My mate Harrison said he'll do it. I spoke to one of Ivy's my daughter's friends' mums, and I just like basically signed her up myself. Like you're doing it now as well. Oh no, that's good that you got all that. If, if I didn't have a focus on the high rocks, then it's something I would probably try. But it is brutal, and I'm thinking at the end of it, is it a good thing? It'd be interesting to see your thoughts on it. Yeah, I know, and I don't even know why I'm doing it. Like I know, the two, <laughs> I know why I'm doing it. It's to cleanse, yeah. obviously. But what's the cleanse. what's the fitness? What's the fitness goal? I don't know. Is it just to lose a bit of weight? Is it to tone up? Um, five soft. Seventy five <laughs> soft. <laughs> I love it. Brilliant. What's that That's version? Amazing. Just, just carry on, book. carry on as you are. I think. Yeah, just read read the book and have a drink of water once a week. Yeah. Um, do you read many books anyway? Yes. Yeah, I read quite a bit. I've um, I've just rereading Psycho Cybernetics. If you've heard of it. No. Oh, it's, it feeds well into this conversation. Actually, it's it's all about your self image, so what you tell yeah. yourself about yourself, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and you're like your confirmation bias. So if you get used to, I think what is it? It's the way the way you think will shape your beliefs. Your beliefs will shape your actions. Your actions will shape your results, and then it just keeps going round. So yeah. really, really, like impactful book. And uh, this time I've got the audio book and the book, and I'm going to read them together. Yeah. But yeah, love love a good book. Um, that's yeah. another thing, just self improvement. We've kind of sacked the TV off most nights now, and it's either podcast oh, or yeah. book. Yes, yeah. we're like, are you with the same department, then you both on the same page. She yeah, she's she doesn't exercise as much as me, but she's like very much into gut health at the moment and this biohacking mm -hmm. stuff. She's banging into it, yeah. So she's she's lost quite a bit of weight just through that and not exercising, which is impressive. Yeah. She hasn't got the time, just like me, choose one yeah. or the other. She's chosen yeah. food, I've chosen movement. Yeah. Well, they yeah. do say it's like mostly diet anyway. Yeah. You can't train a bad diet. And that, um, the gut, because I use just for tummies, I think it's called, some like sub probiotics and bits like that, live bacteria. Um, digestive enzymes. It is a game changer for your goal mindset. I think it all links. Yeah, it definitely does. And the more you delve into it, like you realize that these things you've overlooked for years, yeah, just like these base, like you, your mind and your body, yeah, and your insides, they're actually yeah. the most important parts. And like, no one ever told me that. I'm sure they did, but I never took it. Yeah, away. I'm like, what? 
Yeah. Um, so all these things that I've done over the years to help me in the military style way I live, the army sort of like routine, it's definitely helped me be disciplined within business. And so, for example, when you are putting yourself out there, you will get lots of inboxes. You've got to make time to reply. Yes. And definitely. reply to, to leads dead quickly. Be quick off the mark. And then, like, people are scared of the meetings and stuff, but really embrace all that. Oh, there it is. I'm showing it because Louise asked. Sorry, I was trying not to interrupt you. That's um, all right. But, yeah, I agree. It's not a very exciting cover. No, it looks a bit wrong. scary, to be honest. It looks Pretty like Scientist, yeah, it's um, I just saw the dust come off it. (laughs) The satanic Bible, no, it's not. Um, it's the guy used to be a plastic surgeon, this Maxwell, Ah. it's about 40, maybe 50 years old now. But it's one of honestly, it's the best book I've ever read because if you could just get that information and like stick it in your brain, you you would be like unstoppable. Yeah. I firmly believe it's a game changer of a book. Yeah. And he used to be a plastic surgeon and he would he would change people's appearance because they were unhappy and it was getting them down and they weren't showing up where they needed to. So yeah. perfect for this chat. And then he would notice even if he gave the you know someone a slightly smaller nose or bigger boobs or tummy tuck or whatever he did, it wouldn't be that that would like transform their life. It was the way that they thought about that or thought about themselves. So yeah, he talks a lot about that. I won't go into it too much because I've not read it in in about a year or maybe a little less. But I'm rereading yeah. it because I'm just like everything is working business wise, like systems got incoming leads, high closing rate. Da, 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 da. That I'm I'm like me in internally is like the missing part now. If we can optimize that, everything yeah. else will be even better. So yeah, I think it's a good place to start. Yeah, you've definitely got all the right components already from talking to you. You're doing things similar to me already. Mm. You're doing all the right things by just embracing social media. You're probably not still quite shown as your true self, but does that matter? Uh, yeah, I've, I've not. I think 75 hard, and if I stick that on YouTube and pull out bits, that'll show you the true self. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm like I'm the opposite to you in, in that respect because – I have to I have to know what's coming out on social media like a week before. I I I know. I couldn't Should tell you but it's written down. It's yeah. yeah, proper scheduled. And I'll do I'll fix things on the fly or whatever, but I've got to have that structure so I can go and then focus on the business. Oh, that's quite cool actually. And this is probably where I haven't got that side. I think you probably do need a balance anyway. Yeah, you do because you've got to be reactive. Can't all just be scheduled, but yeah. Yes, reactive definitely um but yeah it's not easy but definitely building the personal brand at the beginning help build the clients and they do come because they want to work with people they trust and the more you post about you the more they trust you already and people know if they're going to work with future cloud we are 100 percent going to look after them because of what i post on social media yeah yeah and it's so important and it's so imp- it definitely is i think the way the world's going though do you think the future is personal branding yeah, I see. I see big resignations coming because I, I had an interview this morning, and I yeah. said to someone that, like, I am, I feel now, completely unemployable. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. I, and I was, I was anyway because at my old job they were just they let me do anything I wanted, so mm-hmm. I pretty much just sat here and won or tried to win clients, yeah. um, and that's all I do now at the moment, pretty much. Yeah. So. But before that, I was fully employed, had to be somewhere, had to wear something, that kind of thing. And yeah. so I'll never go back to that. I don't care. Like, and I think once other people realize that, and obviously working from home has obviously kicked it all off. But, yeah, I see resignations and I see very small teams who are specialists. Um, and, yeah, I see, I see like phone use going down in a more controlled way as well because yeah. i think that's that's pretty important and i think the youth of today are a lot more clued up based on the messaging that the, is being delivered to them like say about not drinking about yeah. eating well about yeah. how actually you probably do need to reset your phones because ev- in 2026 everyone went absolutely mad and i don't know there was a wave of depression or, or something yeah. happened because i yeah. see that coming with everyone yeah. being cooped up but who knows? I, I actually try and avoid looking at or thinking about anything to do to do with 
the outside world. I stay yeah. in here. I ignore the news. I'm very focused. That's um, me. Ignore yeah. the news and all the negativity. Also, what I find with my two children, they don't. They're not on Facebook. So, should we be? Even they're not. They're on Snapchat or TikTok. Literally, or the new one. What is the new one where it's live and you just do a photo and you? What's it called? The new app. Have you heard of it? No. Oh, it's something live or now live or and they just take a photo of themselves and it goes live. I'm thinking, oh my god, what is this? Obviously, all mine are live anyway, but it's yeah. about being real and, and current. What you're up to? Oh, okay. So, I'll, so it's I'll, like a story, but it's a, only a picture, but it's live, but it's not. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's live because you just take a picture where you sat on the bed, but it's an app that people, and all your friends can see it. So, better show me it the other day. If anyone knows what the hell I'm going on about, please help me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh, do I need to be on that app? I want to be on everything. Oh, YouTube. Will, I think YouTube will always be the case. Be real. Yes, be, be real. real. Never heard of it. No, I want to look at that. Uh, yeah, YouTube's a good one. That's that's another thing because everything you put on LinkedIn, everything you put on TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, it's pretty much throwaway. Like the shelf life is what, 45, 45 I was going to say 45, 48 hours. Um, yeah. Whereas YouTube, I could find one of your videos in six years. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm heading towards. But thinking ahead of my YouTube and how slow it's growing, it's painful. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Oh, really, painful. Really it's, bad. You, so I'll have a look at yours then. I'll check you I, out. I paid, yeah, I paid someone to do my video editing. It was just like, not sure I can keep incurring this cost. Ooh, so I've not been on for a while. But I'm gonna. I've I've got like thirty, not thirty. I've got thirty reels, about fifty long form YouTube video ideas to film in a couple of weeks. So I'm just gonna go mad film till the end of the year, and then worry about it. I've yeah. got a hard stop, Fran. I feel like we tailed yeah. off like and come back every single time because it all relates. Everything we talked about just relates to being yourself, right? Yeah, hundred percent. We could have probably carried this on for another hour. <laughs> yeah, well, we can do another one definitely. Another one. I mean, I, yeah. I can definitely chat. That's for sure. Yes. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's been it's been wonderful to have you on. Um, Thank and you. Get your your insights. I think proofs in the pudding. You know, you you just you you choose. You make that little decision to yeah. show up once. Once you've done twenty videos, yeah, it's not a thing. Yeah, you just keep so going. Yeah, it's raising the standard, like your personal standard, up a little yeah. bit higher. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. And then. A year later, you could be have a, a full business built with a team, two offices, 50,000 followers, new house. I wish it was a year. <laughs> <laughs> Potentially. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot can change in a few months, let alone a year. So I think, yeah, do yeah. what you, you want to do. Agreed. Completely agree. Well, thank you so much for coming on. No, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for uh, for thank watching and dropping your comments in. And the, the yeah. book that I recommended is Psycho Cybernetics by yeah. Maxwell Maltz. So it's go. only about a tenner on Amazon. It's uh, it's really good. But yeah, I will catch you all soon. Thank you very much. Cheers. See ya. Bye.